What's up guys and gals? Welcome to another Outcast Gaming production. Today, two things. Well, you might notice I'm wearing a coat and a scarf. I've not long since gone back and uh, it's freezing out there. My heat has only just gone on. So, hence the attire. I may strip off as the video goes on. Don't worry, I will censor what you don't want to see. Roll the new intro. So today we are going to learn what happens when you are a bad parent, apparently. I don't know really much about this game. Um, this was on the Steam sale, hence why I've bought it. We are now going to play it and I promise we won't get jump scared. We're a man's channel. Let's just hit new game. The park is a narrative experience, best played in the dark room wearing headphones. It deals with subject matter that may be disturbing to some players. During the course of play, the part may manipulate graphics, audio control settings, and your sanity. This is perfectly normal and should not cause alarm or something. I missed it. Well, I'll tell you now, guys. Heart and mind. I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Okay. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Yeah, Callum. Where is your bear? She's got an axe around her neck. She's got a tidy ass. Stay in the car. I'm going to ask information. What the what the fuck is that? Okay, so here we go. We're in the game. That's a rock. I thought it was some kind of Okay, sensitivity is crazy high. Let's see if we can change that. Okay, we can't change that, so you guys are going to have to just put up with it. <laughs> I'm afraid. So, from what I believe with this game, can we run? We can't run. Attention, children. The park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Well, I mean, there's not... There's not a lot of people here, is there, really? Um, so what I know about this game, I know that, um, examine the plaque. Okay. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Atlantic Island Park, a tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who used their talents to bring the dream of Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect all those who follow. Ugh. Oh, we can read it that way anyway. Okay, I've read it. I've read it. Okay. Um, you've been smoking something, love? Nice porn star mustache. What's my stupid son doing? Is he looking for his teddy bear? Wait for mommy, Callum. Come on, mommy. Callum, where are you going? Over here. I'm guessing there's going to be some kind of information on this. Welcome to Atlantic Island Park. When I first came to visit Solomon, I fell deeply in love. I wanted to create blah, 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 blah. Quad the chipmunk recommends for little ones. The tunnel... Oh, I'm... No, no. Um. Callum, I told you to wait in the car. Over here. What are you doing up there? No, you're not gonna just. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. Oh, forget that. I'm gonna get your son. Between the real world and the world of whimsy within. Well, well, I can't walk, guys. She's just moseying along. Lies. God, this place needs some. Anything we might grab needs some work. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. 
Jesus, this place is falling apart. <laughs> Not good. Wait for mommy, Callum. Oh, it's going a bit shit. Oh, now we can run. Come to mommy, Callum. Not got a torch or anything. Can't go in there. Callum. Yes, I can, you little shit. Run, bitch, run. Stop, Callum. I don't like the look of that ride. Callum. Where did you go? Okay, so it appears that we have stamina. Because then she just stops. Okay. Nope. Callum? Yeah, I can see him right in the distance. Come back. You'd be a little bit more panicked than that. Where are you? Over here. I've got a bad feeling about this, guys. Didn't even see that. Examine it then. I think this belongs to Callum. No. Callum! Pick me, Mommy. What is this about? Uh, Pittens on my ad, whatever her visit to the locals. She's finished his name, starts so coming doors. I'm sure my lawyer's already arranged placement. Just a ride, Dave. It's just a ride. Don't hide from me, Callum. This way, mommy. I can't. I don't know where he is. I can't see him anymore. Callum, come back here right now. This way. Wait for mommy. I am hearing all kinds of like. Like dot. Callum, stay where you are. I don't even know where he is. Callum. Can we get on this? We can ride the swan. Oh, look at that. I'm starting to think this is a bad idea. I should be trying to find my son. My bad, this one, guys. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. I can't do anything. I can't get off. Let's just wait. Oh, we've got ages to go yet, guys. I think this is actually quite an old game. But I've got to say, uh, it's quite immersive. It's very good. Just like to remind you at this point, guys, we are supposed to be looking for our son. Not riding rides. We'll fast forward through all this. There we go, we're nearly done. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. What the fuck? Okay, let me off please. Let me off. Let me off. Let me off. Achievement unlocked. Swans, gingerbread, and the chocolate. Callum, where did you go? 
Okay, I am really starting to get a bit freaked out by this game now. Cancel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the old Christy was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The Tunnel of Tales. Okay, that's where we are. The old witch. She's in their own pants. So... I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. We're Not going down. Son, we came past the House of Horrors. Hand in hand against the unkind so we're going right round, apparently. We were always hungry. Looking for our own house made of candy. Looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places. I don't care. Just, reach their claws. just try and find your son. My daughter went missing in a park. I mean, what she did, we went to Legoland. In fact, no, the worst one was when we went to Disneyland Paris. Oh my God. I had a coronary. <laughs> Accident. This place. What is that? I don't. I don't. I. I'm literally. Despite. Oh, let's just read. Despite constant interruptions to work, Atlantic Island Park will be opening on time. The governor is but to cut the ribbon. So the only real question is whether we will have any customers. I'm not truly really worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. I deduced what was needed from the banned writings of Archie Henderson. It's astonishing to think that the re a resonance of positive emotions could be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to use negative and that caused some of the taint that still lingers in this place. I will not make his mistakes. Very soon I will know if this has all been for nothing. There's a big teddy bear. Is that blood on the seat? Or is that a shadow? I think that's a shadow. It's a teddy bear that looks like he's got a knife through his eye. Okay. Awesome. Starting to get a little bit of a bad feeling. Well, what did it say? Follow the trail, I think. Alan, where did you go? Please leave me alone. Not funny, Callum. Whoa, check that out. Is that a Ferris wheel part of this park? That's got to be like the biggest Ferris wheel in the world. Look at the size of that thing. Oh my God. Okay, we came all this way for nothing. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It used to make me dizzy. Smell, sweetie. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. Eyewitness report, witness name, Norma Creed. We were waiting for our turn on the ride, Frank, me and the boys. This fellow in the chipmunk suit is making an ice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit wary of those suits. They gave me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the ice. And at first we thought that he was making some animal like a tiger or a lion. But as more and more ice fell away, when you first looked, it was a human face smiling out of that block of ice but no but the more you looked at it the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportions something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster like you were prey and that thing was in was in the ice was a hunter the thing in the ice was a hunter but these thing then these teenagers walked up one of them made a face at the carbon and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit and then well, he went berserk. For a few moments, it was chaos. Everyone was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground. And he was stab, stab, stabbing with the ice pick and blood was spraying and people were screaming and Frank and I had the kids and we were dragging them away as fast as we could. The last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that an, oh, that the eyeball of one of those poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture, making that horrible creature look more or less alive. Why is that just on a bench in the middle of an abandoned, empty park? What's the point? Why is this thing on? I mean... Where are you? Callum, get your shit together. Let's go. Running is painful, guys. I'm not going to lie. Can't jump. Can't do anything else. What was that? Me and Callum. She looks possessed. Has got some serious camel toe issues. And Callum looks like he does not want to be there. 
and there's some kind of creepy dude in the background. Why is your picture on that bench? Okay, where do we go? Do we go off towards the Ferris wheel or do we go this way? I'm going to go towards the Ferris wheel. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Okay, that sounded like he was over there. Sounds like it's this way. I know he's not here, but this is the way it sounds. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, falling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our worlds from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real. So rare, and so far from my expectations. We shattered, and as we fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single, coldest thought. I don't think I can get any of these places. No. What about E? No, we can't get in any of these places, guys. What the fuck was that? Okay, move on. Callum, where did you go? Didn't jump, didn't scare me. Didn't jump. Didn't jump. What the fuck is that? You wouldn't put that up in a kid park, would you? What am I hearing? I'm hearing. Hello? Bumper cars. Constant crashes and eighties music. Oh, this is but I suppose someone's boat. Get a bit fed up with this woman narrating over everything. Okay. So when I shout near things and they do that ripple, I can examine them, I think. What the fuck is going on? This bird is tripping. Shocking revelations. Callum, where'd you go? Why is there one bumper car on down there? The mouth's leading. Yeah. <laughs> I know what's coming, guys. I know what's coming. Callum, stay where you are. I am going to go round. So they can't run me over. Come back. Oh, it's an accident report. Oh, okay. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? I wanted to read that accident report. Callum, don't let me where you are. I can't get out there, even though it's just crashed through. I can't get out there. Mommy is coming, Callum. Oh, I see. It's lighting up that. I didn't read the accident report. I think I should have done. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. Don't even need to do that, do you? When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. 
Didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. Yeah. Tell me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch, scratch of his pen on the notepad. That thing is huge. Our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter Helen, she just gets some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead, my mouth said, "Yes, sheriff." Thanks for that little insight into your bad parenting skills. Okay. Stay where you are. Continue to live for the incompetence of the builders. The problem is that they are locals. They believe a lot of rumours about what old man Henderson used to do here. They grew up to those tales. Every time a bolt comes loose or a wrench goes missing, those fools are crossing themselves against black magic. Of course, that's why I choose chose this site over the other potentials. Solomon Island is a nexus of dark energies and the thought of all that power just dissipating beneath the earth here, it makes my skin crawl. I called a few favours back in Brooklyn and got someone at the local academy to see if they had any interesting books about local history. It turns out they do and it turns out that Old Man Henderson has some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn crowd. Perhaps something he wrote will help me find the plans that I am missing. Okay. Where are you? Come on. So we... We can't get in any of these buildings. So we'll go over there. Why am I hearing a baby crying? Alan, where did you go? I got a bad feeling about this, guys. A really bad feeling. Where are you, Callum? What the fuck? Okay, Mr. Chipmunk. Let's do it. This thing is huge. Like, enormous. People come into your life oh. for a reason. Here she goes again. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but we didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. Felt like love. Felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, oh, that feels pretty bad. the harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Oh, great. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Okay, I have to be so angry about it. Maybe stay away from the park that killed your husband. Simple. Or maybe that's just me. I've got a bad. Something's gonna be there. There's gonna be something coming. Let's look this way. <clears throat> what the fuck is that? That's a tall dude from the picture. Mommy is coming, Callum. Okay, I've had enough of this place now. Callum, tell Mommy where you are. I can't. I can't. 
can't work out where it's coming from. Alan, where did you go? Mommy is coming, Helm. It's getting louder. That looks like one of the carts off the big thing. Oh. Oh. Awesome. Stop hiding, Callum. Someone's watching me. That's what it's just said. This isn't a game, Callum. A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk, their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read. The little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people. You give up nine months of your life carrying them. You traumatize yourself giving birth to them. And then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping up piss, feeding them. Little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> yeah, you shouldn't have been a mom. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Alan really grind my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything. But so is the little fuck wife by just abandoning him. Okay. Alan? This woman Alan? is having some kind of a breakdown. Alan, where did you go? This thing is saving like all the time. I always wanted to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. Let's do it then. Ups and downs. Is he going to be in there? There he is. What do you want? We need to talk about Callum. What do you mean? What have you done to him? I. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. Which has it now? Has both of you? No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just leave me alone. Fool, you always were. Okay, he's gone. What the fuck is going on? Crazy dude's gone and left me. Okay. <laughs> he let me off now. Please. Let's go. Let's go. Stop. Thanks. Okay, apparently we're done. This isn't a game, Callum. Read. It works. The calculations and adjustment work. The transport and storage records seem to be flawless. What a wonderful day. If only these people knew what they were fueling and what and so what if a few people leave the park at the end of the day feeling dour? So what if the children are more scared than excited on a roller coaster? This could be the doorway to immortality. And such doorways open only to those who have the will to find a key. This is getting fucking 
batshit. Oh, I've got a flashlight now. Awesome. Oh. Run. Alan has bruises on his arms. Finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. Where is he? Demand it really to know where he got the marks. He doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. Doesn't dare talk. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. They are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, stealing him. They are taking my baby away from me. If they save him, then there will be pain. But I love him, and in the end, you will understand why. Talon, where are you? Get them away from me! Some freaky shit going on, guys. I was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. Cotton candy corpse leaves sour tasting park goers' mouths. Is it? It's no surprise this place closed down. Yesterday evening, visitors to Atlantic Park Island were shocked and horrified by the discovery of a dismembered corpse behind the cotton candy stand. What am I hearing? According to local authorities, the corpse is yet to be identified. However, they have confirmed the remains appear to be those of a child. The corpse was discovered by a group of teenagers from. Innsmouth Academy, who noticed a pair of ravens tugging at something just out of sight behind the shack. Nathaniel Winter, the owner of Atlantic Park Island, released the following statement. It's a true tragedy when someone, when something lists this occurs. It's a true tragedy when something lists this occurs. Like, I'm guessing. Especially in a place that was designed to bring forth happiness and joy. The, st The staff of Atlantic Park offer their condolences to the family and friends of the victim. We will cooperate fully with authorities and bring this case to rest. Solomon and blah, 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 blah. Starting to get a little creeped out now. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Well, there's the cotton candy stand. What the fuck? Oh, bastard. He did this to him. I can't do anything. I can help you, Callum. Something's behind me. Oh. This isn't a game, Callum. Don't let the witch turn you into a hermit. Yeah, you keep saying that, child, but I don't know where you are. Callum? Callum! And I'm having some kind of seizure. And I can't leave. He's in there. Come back. Okay. Take pills. I don't know what the fuck they are. The, these are mine. Flags Pharmacy. <laughs> <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> What's that say? Being a fat pig. Oh, Banner is a fat pig, but his daughter is hot. Fuck gravity. Not safe. Your mother. Say no to graffiti. Some kids laugh and some kids cry, but mostly children simply die. Oh God! Don't leave me here, Callum. Tony, she is trip. 
tripping. What the fuck? What were those pills? Yeah, I know. I've seen the chair. Oh, hang on. Run through. Strike. Oh, that was Callum's bear. Forgive me, Callum. Don't touch me. Oh, there he is. I don't want to read the newspaper. I want to follow my son. Forgive me, Callum. We are tripping balls. Did we die? Achievement unlocked. What a strange trip it's been. You are telling me. Okay, guys. Well... On that note, Callum's still fucked up. I have got no idea what's going on at all whatsoever. It's of the collage of contradictions all of its own. She's waffling again. People die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Here the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grim carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despise the toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me inside. Callum? Callum? Inside what? Just let me go home. He's gone. Son's gone. Kid has gone. So yesterday I started playing this game. Uh, it's called The Park, as you probably saw from the title. And we basically have lost our son. He's He ran off in the park. Some, like, voodoo doctor-like character is chasing us around, showing us flashbacks of hospital beds and that sort of thing. And every so often she breaks off into some kind of rant about how she actually does love her kid, but she hates her kid because you turn into a slave. And it's all very bizarre. More importantly, there's been no jump scares. So I am questioning whether or not I am going to upload this. But I've bought it. I've started it. So I'm going to finish it. So, yeah, Callum, we know. So this was the entrance. I came back to the entrance last night. So that's referring to Hansel and Gretel. So if we shout for Callum. Some very weird... Um, sounds going on in fact hold on okay so i've just turned your hearing up a little bit so you might be able to hear some of these sounds a little better Callum? Callum! i have to say i do like this game so the atmosphere and everything is pretty cool i can help you Callum. No, I'm, safely. No, I'm not oh, Callum. i haven't been in there yet i don't really want to go in there if i'm honest but i very much aware that we will have to go in there sooner or later. Carrie Killian is Satan's whore. I really don't want to go in there, guys. But the other one was quite tame. So I will... Let's see 
Let's see if there's any jump scares in this bit. Okay, there's totally going to be jump scares in this. House of Horrors. Okay, I really don't like this. And that's like the guy who's chasing us around. Looks a bit like Willy Wonka. Atlantic Island Park has closed its gates. After a jeering throng of town folk gathered as we hung the heavy iron padlock on the gate. Small-minded fools scared of what they don't understand. My machines lie silent and dejected, but I'm not beaten. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston. I have retreated here to the House of Horrors, I must think. Oh, awesome. <laughs> okay, I will just reiterate, guys, that the sound in my earphones is so loud. I can't interact with any of this, so I've got no idea. It's going to be someone in the mirror or something, isn't there? No? That's us. Okay. Okay. We knew this was going to happen. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to lie, guys. I don't like this. This this is the way I came in, isn't it? I'm just walking around in circles in here. Okay. Where was there was a door? Uh, I see. I've not been around here yet. I see, I, I saw that on the floor. It's the sound. It's the sound that does it. Okay. Instance, I cannot dismiss them as random chance. The park works, but something is interfering with its intended function. It has, though, the very air in this place. It's as though the very air in this place is corrupting the power, even as I collect it. A few casualties here and there are acceptable. But when the employees go on stabbing rampages, it draws attention. I'd rather not have the boys in blue, either kind, investigating this place too closely. It's a shame about Steve. I rather liked him. Isn't that my boy? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, obviously they're all going to be locked. Obviously my torch has stopped working. Nightmare Circus. The circus burns to the ground on opening night, killing dozens. The owner is put to death by an enraged mob of town folk just as he shouts out a curse. Now Raven, a dark-souled wanderer, comes to the ruins at dusk in search of his missing mother. Let the show begin. After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home, bittersweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone-deep coldness that never come, went away. Come, come, come. 
I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now. Lost and afraid. Things never got any better. So the main just goes off on these tangents. Okay. So that's Callum's hat. Got pictures. We've got a Rubik's Cube. The Wilting. Uh, Susan Ann Cohen cements her place one of the most important science fiction of the generation. The Wilting. A solar flare has struck the Earth. Millions of people are uprooted from their homes. A young meteorologist searches desperately for a way to stop global overheating. An exotic dancer named Chance O'Hara good stage name, is the key to saving the world again. Dynamic, exciting, bombastic. Oh, oh can't wait to go down there. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks. Remember, drop Callan off. Electricity bill, fix faucet. Which to you and I means tap. What kind of monster puts apples in the fridge? Oh, I wonder what's going to happen in this room. Nothing. Should I have just come in here first then? Would that have saved me running around the park? Miss Mallard. Our inquiry into the state of Mr. McDonald's will is now complete. We regret to inform you that the primary beneficiary of the state, including life insurance settlements by accidental death, were listed as Rose Williams and Richard Williams of Newark State, deceased parents. Our agency made contact with both Mr. and Mrs. Williams and explained the situation, especially as regards to the birth of Donald's son, Callum. Unfortunately, they were not receptive to our overtures, bitch, and they specified that without any legal proof of biological relationship, they consider you Ill ineligible to receive any monies from Donald's estate. They have asked that we no longer contact them regarding this matter, so she's poor. Struggling to bring up a kid. You know, I mean, we've all been there, right? It gets hard. It does get hard. Life gets hard. Oh, I just keep going down. Oh, I'm back in here again. That wasn't one. This is really freaking me out. Honestly, the hairs. The fish and apples and eggs of that have gone. Alone. Let me have my son back, you monster. How do we know he's bad, guys? He keeps his apples in the fridge. Mother Duck said. I didn't run away. Dad took me. I read this. She was quite surprised. You ran off with your father all those years ago, then disappeared off the edge of the map when I finally tracked you down there a few times with my letters. And now you are to ask me for help. I have other family member now, another life. Your father was a horrible man. I regret the years I wasted with him. I loved you, I truly did. But every year you grew more and more like him. You were his girl, and really, never really mine. Still, still, I would have thought fought for custody if you hadn't run away with him. It broke my heart, but I needed to go on living. I can't let you back in my life without picking open old wounds. I'm sorry, Lorraine, I just can't do it. Maybe one day it'll be easier and I can meet Callum, but not yet. I'm really, I'm not ready to forgive you. Please don't contact me again, Karen. 
I didn't run away. Dad took me. Where have you gone? You jump scare dick. It's coming, isn't it? Yeah, we read that. I exit, and we're just going to keep going around in circles. Because we are going batshit. Locked. His his voice is really freaking me out. Yeah, we read that. We've got pills, cards. Pills. It's getting messier every time we come through. The doll's now missing a head. The drawers are out. There's blood on the floor. Milk. Cheese. Prescription, 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 prescription. Tickets to Atlantic Park. So, so she, I think this is supposed to be like symbolizing her descent in, into madness. Let's have a look. There's some weird picture. The wine's presumably all gone. All the food's gone. There seems to be blood everywhere. Yeah, we, we read this as well, didn't we? Oh, a history of Solomon Island. I'm not really interested in books and things. I've, I've not really pieced together anything of what's been going on. Some guys bought the park. That is freaky. I don't want to play this game anymore. That is freaky. What's with all the babies? Is this supposed to, cause that one's got a bottle of wine. Oh, I don't even want to know what that says. <laughs> I really don't want to do this. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. <laughs> this is getting cray cray she's definitely descending into some kind of madness and she's dragging me down with her I do not agree to this Let's just go. Now the bed's moved. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. Let me out of here. Stories 
as I told again and again, there she goes. And from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. The child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of the story, the mother and the witch were the same person. I Kid. never wanted to be the witch. But I am. Aren't I? Done. Finished. Okay. Kids broke in today. It's been so long since I heard laughter. So very long. I took one of them. I couldn't help myself. It was fast. Others didn't notice. I liked hearing him laugh. This boy from the academy. I put him on a slab. I tickled him until he couldn't breathe. My machines came to life, whirring in time to his gasps and shrieks. I think this is delightful. The change wrought in me by the machines is not yet complete. There must be other children I can lay on my slab. Freaky. Okay, I'm done with this stupid haunted house. Can we please leave? Eyes without sparkle. That is freaky. <sighs> I don't want any more. Hansel and Gretel. That's... Oh, come on. Help. 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 Jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. Look behind you. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. We lose things all the time. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Isn't that the porn star? Uh, you saw your son. The porn star Tash that let us in in the first place. She looks so ill. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Here we go again. So there you go, guys. That was the park. I don't really know what to say about that one because it wasn't like a boo kind of game. It was more of a, a crazy, freaky kind of game. But I have to say, the, the world and everything was pretty cool. Um, it was very immersive. It was very, like, the ambience was amazing. Uh, certainly wearing these things um, just made the game so much more, you know, part of you. Is that even a word or a way of saying it? I don't know. Um, so, yeah. 
and let you down on this one, guys, because there was no jump scares apart from the haunted house, which didn't really count, did it? So, okay, stay safe, guys. Keep masking up, doing all the rest of it, and I will see you in the next one.